Good evening, everybody. This is Andrew McLaughlin with the National Truck Driving School. I'm going to start right in about one minute. Now would be a good time to get a paper and pencil and maybe a nice cold drink. I'm going to start in one minute. Good evening. Hi, this is Andrew McLaughlin with the National Truck Driving School, and I want to welcome you to our live uh, Tuesday night webinar. We still have a lot of people uh, signing in tonight for the webinar. Uh, while we're getting started, I want to just go over some of the quick housekeeping. Uh, you can watch this on your computer, on your laptop, your tablet, or even on your phone, uh, but just by clicking the link in your email. Uh, there are some controls that you can use. Um, the number one is you see the microphone here with the, the number one. Um, it's orange right now with a line through it. Uh, we are in the listen only mode for the first part of the webinar tonight. And then we're going to open up the microphone when our guest comes on. And we're going to um, let you ask questions live. Number two is the hand icon. I'm going to ask everybody to click on the little hand. This lets us know that you can hear us okay. I get everybody to click on the little hand, number two. Excellent. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Raul. All right. Very good. And I can put all those hands down in one quick motion. Number three is the questions tab. If you do not have a microphone or your microphone is not working or you're a little shy and you don't want to talk in front of a whole lot of people, uh, by all means, uh, use the number three, the questions box. You just hit the submit button and we will watch the questions in the background uh, over here today as well. Uh, number four, you're going to see a little camera. Uh, we are going to keep the cameras off tonight. We have people uh, on Wi-Fi connections and, and bad connections, and uh, the cameras just take up a lot of bandwidth, so we're gonna, not going to use the cameras uh, tonight. Okay, very good. I want to tell you all a little bit about uh, national training and who we are and, and what we do. Uh, we're one of the largest truck driving schools in Florida. We were incorporated back in 1978 as a post-secondary vocational educational institution. So we teach truck driving, and we also teach heavy equipment operating. Uh, we're committed to providing a very strong curriculum. Our programs emphasize practical, usable skills blended with relevant uh, general educational foundations. So most of our students that come through this program will be in a four-week program. 180 hours, 120 of those hours are you actually working with the equipment. We have a very caring environment with a lot of personal attention and very close faculty student interactions. Uh, we only take somewhere between 12 and 8, 12, maybe 16 students to a class at the most. Uh, we have a lot of equipment that gives you a lot of hands on time and a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, with the instructors. We do have an open door policy. If you have a problem, you can go in and talk to the director of training. Uh, that's all very well. We are Florida's oldest private truck driving school. Uh, we have a state-of-the-art training facility. We're located in Green Cove Springs on a 350-acre campus. Now, right on that campus, we have a two-lane private highway. This ensures safer, more efficient training. So most other schools are going to put you out in the in the street uh, right away because they don't have any place to train you. You're going to learn upshifting, downshifting, and stopping a 70-foot, 20-ton tractor trailer before you ever go out onto the public roads, which is usually at the end of week two. And we've graduated over 38,000 uh, students since 1978. Now, I get a question all the time, why drive a truck for a living? And there's all sorts of answers. You know, I love to drive. Um, I want to make a lot of money. I want to see the country. 
there's really only one answer. All those things are good, but the one answer is it's really the only um, career that you can go to school in four weeks and have total job security. Okay, uh, we went through a terrible economic times over the last 12 years. Um, truck drivers didn't get laid off. Everybody else though was getting laid off, and you know we're not given health insurance and things like that, not the truck drivers. Uh, they all stayed employed. If not, a lot of the people from other industries were coming into trucking. So job security in trucking is huge. Uh, there's a lot of different types of driving today. Um, there's local driving where you're home every night. There's regional driving uh, where you're out maybe three, four, five days at a time, maybe f five states around where you're located. Uh, and then there's over the road, a long haul driving. Besides the different types of driving, you could drive flatbeds, you could drive tankers, uh, you could drive regular van trailers, is like what we teach on, uh, intermodal, lots of different types of trucks that you can drive as well. So there's a lot of different things uh, that you can do with the trucking industry. Now, many of, of, of our students, their first time ever in a big tractor trailer was in one of our, our trucks. And we have everything from regular day cabs to uh, super condo sleepers, okay? And everything in between. We have nine speed transmissions, 10 speed transmissions, uh, 13 speed transmissions. And we even have a few automatics uh, in our fleet because a lot of the major carriers today are all swifting, shifting over uh, to automatics. However, Anybody going through our program, we want them to actually test on a manual transmission so that there would not be, uh, you wouldn't have an exception on your license. Okay. Uh, trucks today are a whole lot different than they were uh, 20 years ago. Uh, here's a typical work truck right here. Um, two bunks. Okay, this, this will fold into a, a twin bed. This is a single, comes down. Okay, closets on this side. On the other side, they probably have a refrigerator, uh, maybe a TV, a microwave. Okay, so very, very comfortable uh, living conditions. You see here the driver, the uh, passenger seat uh, can actually spin 380 degrees, 360 degrees rather. Okay, the seats all air ride. Okay, not just the driver, but the passenger seat, lots of controls, uh, types of things like that. This is an owner-operator truck right here, just a beautiful, gorgeous truck. He's got wood floors, really nice. Um, here, we're back to a, uh, a company truck right here where you see the chair spins around 180 degrees. He's got his TV, his microwave on the other side by the closet. He has himself a nice refrigerator. Uh, we've got the double bed here with the bunk that will come down uh, for the 34-hour restart. So just a nice uh, accommodations. And the trucking companies today making the accommodations nicer and nicer um, every, every year. Here's an owner-operator with his, again, the wood floors is nice. You notice here he's got his ELD, his electronic, electronic logging device. Um, all of the paper logs today uh, have gone to electronic, and you still have to know how to do a paper log because of course electronics will break down so we're going to teach electronic logs as well as paper logs uh, right here at the school as well so we talked about those different types of driving jobs you haul freight of all different kinds uh, many of the fortune 500 companies you'll you'll, you'll um, haul freight for all of those different types of companies um, we have a lot of people that want to just work regionally you know be home uh, two or three days a week, okay, remain primarily in a specific area of the country. Uh, most of the companies out there today offer weekly home time, great pay, steady runs, and lots and lots of company benefits, the health insurance, the life insurance, uh, the 401k. Driver pay, driver pay, 2017-2018 Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, general freight trucking, Median wage, $22.83, or the average annual salary of about 
250. So to make between 40 and 50,000 the first year is very, very realistic. So uh, 40 to 50,000 a year, you're talking about anywhere from seven to 900, 700 to a thousand dollars a week. You're making a thousand dollars a week. You're doing pretty good. Now, team drivers, if you, we have any husband and wife teams on here, team drivers are making between 100 and 150,000. And if all that money is going into one house, the other person's not there to spend it, right? So uh, you're able to bank a lot of money uh, as a team driver. I want to talk a little bit about the school and the qualifications of the school, national training. Uh, we review your driving record. So we don't accept everybody into the program. We accept like one in 10 people that apply. We go through the criminal background. We check your physical abilities. Are you able to, you know, you able to lift 50 pounds? Uh, we administer a drug test the very first day. And most important, we want to know what your intensity is to succeed. We ensure that you can benefit from this training before you get started. Are you employable? Can you get a job? Okay. Um, here's some students the very first very first uh, week. They're out there doing pre-trip inspection. So in order to get your state CDL license, you have to pass a state test, which is going to be a pre-trip inspection, a backing skills test where you're going to do a straight line, you're going to do uh, an offset, and you're going to do an alley dock. And so they're doing an alley dock there and over here. And then there's the road drive. So we're going to train you around the state test. And here's just down here. This one's just a picture of that um, mile and a quarter private highway right there on the property. Here's an instructor the very first day. He's working with uh, this particular student. And they're going over every one of the dials. Um, let them know exactly where each thing should be. And it's not just covering the tractor, but it's covering the trailer as well, the air pressure, the oil pressure, uh, different things like that. This is an overview of the national training in our 350 acre uh, facility. Uh, you can see that mile and a quarter highway very nicely um, in this picture right here. Okay, uh, over here we have our backing pad. And you notice the white here, this is all lime rock. So when you're learning on the backing pad, because you're turning the wheel so much, uh, it wears the tires out very quickly. So we, we work on the lime rock uh, while you're doing the practicing. And then this is the testing pad over here where you take your state test. We have four 2,000 foot uh, classrooms, uh, square foot classrooms. So we have four of those rooms. We have uh, our own mechanics. Uh, right there on the property. The most important thing that we do is career services. Uh, we have uh, dozens of different companies that will come in through this four weeks, and they're all gonna want you to come in and listen to why you should go work for them. Our students usually have three, four, five job offers before they leave our school. Okay, so we've been perfecting our graduate work program for over 38 years. It really does work. The Career Services Department starts working with our students on the very first day of resident training. Uh, we use a lot of one-on-one -on -one private counseling sessions. Not everybody that comes to national training is coming here for the same reason. Some want to drive local. Some want to drive over the road. Some want to be uh, road warriors. Others want to be teams. Others want to be solo. Uh, others need to be home every weekend, okay? So everybody is coming for a different reason. And we work with roughly about 143 uh, different trucking companies from around the country. We also have a very exclusive job board uh, where you can actually go and look at the jobs. But besides looking at the jobs, they'll also, you can dig down deep into it. You can find out everything about that company just by clicking and then even the person who's going to interview you, you can kind of check them out as well. So uh, we do a lot in the background to make sure that our students are ready to go out into the field and make that 50, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars a year. We have students uh, right now. We have students all, from all over the country online with us. And, you know, the, 
we got quite a few from Jacksonville and, you know, they'll drive to school every day. Uh, but the people from South Florida and, and Georgia and Alabama, I see some people here from New York. Uh, where do you stay when you're here at National Training? We have our own lodging facility and we are partnered with the Green Cove Springs Inn. And the Green Cove Springs Inn, uh, the rooms are double occupancy, so you share a room with another student. There's a refrigerator, microwave, air conditioner, uh, HBO. Uh, they got free Wi-Fi. And it's only like 26 bucks a night. So if you're there for four weeks, including the weekends, it's only $702. Now, uh, they just added some single rooms uh, that they're letting us use. And uh, we have a similar rate for them, about 27 bucks a night. Uh, and it's $1,089 dollars for the four weeks including the weekend so um, pretty pretty good pretty good deal there uh, the cost and financing of the school it's very simple it's six thousand four hundred and ninety five dollars we have financing for everybody if you have you know you're able to get a job we can finance you good credit bad credit no credit okay uh, we do a lot of in-house financing. We work with a lot of the different credit unions. We work with different banks. We also work with the the the, the um, GI Bill uh, for the veterans. We work with vocational rehabilitation. A lot of the state workforce offices. Okay, um, we've been doing this for a very very long time. Uh, we have a lot of different connections between trucking and, and, and financing companies uh, throughout the country. Uh, it's all good, we have it all. We have the companies, we have the jobs, we have the uh, industry recognition of national training uh, being one of the leaders uh, in the school trucking business. We have impeccable governmental relationships. We have guaranteed tuition financing for everyone and we have over 38,000 graduates that came possibly here before you tonight. Uh, we have a program that is really, really fun to complete. And of course, we have an awesome, awesome training facility. Awesome training facility. Uh, again, we appreciate all of our students from the Department of Veterans Affairs, all of the federal vocational rehabs, the state vocational rehabs, all the different states that send their workforce people through us and all the different Indian tribes, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, that send their people. And why do they send them to national training? Because they know that they're going to get jobs when they're finished. National training is where the companies come for new drivers. All right. And this is just a, a quite a, f a few of our uh, different companies, Rail, Prime, Night Transport, PAM. Uh, Stevens Transport, if you're trying to be an owner operator, I think Stevens is probably one of the best companies. If you're looking to be a team, I like Covenant Transport a lot for team driving. Uh, Schneider, also good for team. I like Windy Hill. You don't want, want to drive solo um, and you want to make $1,200, $1,500 a week. Windy Hill is a great company to go with. TMC is a company that's uh, employee owned. Comcar Industries, Comcar, nice small company, but pretty much anything you think of, one of their um, one of their divisions does it. If you want to do flatbeds, you want to do tankers, you want to do whatever it is. Uh, Wiltran, uh, Conway, just great companies. Um, tonight we're supposed to have on Avrit Express, uh, Nikki Nikki Parker, and uh, she'll be on in hopefully shortly. Uh, Let's open up the phone lines first and see if you have any questions um, about the school and about the program. Go ahead and raise your hand. You can open up your phone lines. All right. And um, I do want to announce that we are going to have Holly McDonald on uh, on May the 14th uh, at 6.30. Uh, with Roger Cartage, okay, with Roger Cartage. Uh, special announcement, we have a an open house happening on 
uh, Saturday, May the 11th. And if you're anywhere within a couple of hundred miles uh, from national training, uh, you certainly want to uh, come down and take a look at the school. Uh, our next truck driving class will start on May the 20th. So it can kind of give you an idea um, of what we have and, and where we are. Okay. And um, all right, let's 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 switch over to uh, Nikki. And uh, I'm going to pass the whole thing to her. All right, Nikki. Nikki, you there? All right, this is Avert Express. Uh, they, this is their new Austin Fulfillment Center. Uh, all right, Nikki, I'm turning it over to you. Nikki, I hear you in one ear. We're not hearing you, Nikki. Let me try to give you the controls. Hold on. <laughs> 